Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to play the very last match of the league. Uh, and this is an important match because it's going to decide whether or not we make it to the playoffs. So we are currently in the playoff zone. Uh, we've got one match that we need to at least draw, I think. Um, and yeah, I, actually no, we need to win. Because uh, if Hull win their match, then we need to have won ours in order to qualified for the playoffs so in terms of uh episode structure i'm just gonna play this match in this episode just the exeter match for this episode and then if we get through to the playoffs i will then play the playoff or playoffs in the next episode uh, so you can have a little overview of the season so far we've managed to pull we work roughly around 10th i think when i last uh recorded an episode Managed to climb our way up to sixth. Uh, Mark Dodd is doing really well, really well for us this season. He is, however, injured for this match, so he's not going to feature in this match. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, let's have a quick look at the schedule. So this was the last episode, Bradford and uh, MK Dons. We then went off to play um, the semi-final uh, for the Papa John's Trophy. We won against Arsenal under 23s and we won as well the final for Exeter so that means we have a first trophy I think it's our first trophy since I started managing Hereford so yeah we do have a first trophy we might have won an FA trophy before I have a feeling we we have so we might have an FA trophy from before uh, if not then the Papa John's trophy is our first ever silverware uh, yeah so we've done quite well for the um for the league anything else to tell you um under 23s i'm getting started with um disposing of some of the older youth so in this case um i've already confirmed that roy shepherd is going to leave us at the end of the season uh he's going to Dolwich ham hamlet i think that's how you say that which i think is in birmingham so Roy's going to leave us, and I'm also going to attempt to sell um, Tyler Wilson as well. Let's see if that go goes ahead or not. Possibly Alan, um, and definitely all of these guys here. So Sean, James, Reese, Martin, and Ben. Uh, Finance-wise, we're very much in the red. In fact, the board already invested half a million, so we would have been even more in the red if it wasn't for that. Uh, no other changes, I don't think. So today we are going to play with this squad. Tom Yates has been our main keeper. Um, Kaya, who's usually who usually plays with Brad Hills in the center of defense, is currently currently injured. So we're going to play with Conrad, which is also actually Conrad would be my f preferred option, but because Kaya is our captain. He started complaining he wasn't getting enough playing time. And I was like, you know what? Fine, you're the captain. So we were playing Kaya, but actually Conrad would be my preferred option anyway. Um, ba -ba -ba. Max, he's held on to halfback. Uh, sorry, not halfback. Fullback on the left. He's basically the main guy in that position now. Nothing. Yeah, everyone else except... So, except for Conrad, who usually is on a bench, unfortunately. But I'd like to play him. And also, Diogo is standing in for Mark Dodds. All the other players are pretty much the usual. Except we, we tend to swap over. So, our halfback, we either play with Alan or uh, Rabiu. And for... A box to box, we either play Simon or Mike. So those two change quite often, but the others are pretty much set now. Now for tactics, I'm gonna leave it all pretty much as last match, except I'm gonna go positive. So at the moment we are playing uh, through the middle. Nothing much else complicated there. Transitions we're playing quite simple, nothing complicated there. Here the only thing is using my uh, tighter marking with a lower defensive line and pushing the def the opposition inside. That's it. Uh, that's the tactics we're playing with at the moment. So, 
Um, that's it, really. Uh, as far as value, I'm quite excited that our, all of our players are increasing in value. So, they've got three now that are valued over uh, 100k. Uh, obviously, Jack and Conrad aren't ours. But since Conrad joined, these guys are like, whoop. Because uh, Conrad is, ne is worth nearly half a million. Uh, whatever, he's from Blackburn. So, it's quite good. He came to boost up our whole squad. Which is why I'd like to play more often, but... Kaya, if I can find you. There you go. Kaya has been complaining that he doesn't have enough playing time. Um, so we have to fulfill that. He's quite happy with the amount of playing time we gave him in so far. Anyway, this could be the last match of the of the league anyway. Uh, except if we go f for playoffs. So that could be it for him. Unless he sticks around next season as well. Yeah, that's that's the other thing. Like, I don't know how many of these players will stick around next season. Uh, it all pretty much will depend on the amount of cash we have for transfers. We might, if we don't have a decent investment of money into the club, we're not going to be able to afford transfers. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to yawn there. Uh, anyway, yes, we have to win this match against Exeter. If not, Hull and potentially Coventry as well could overtake us. Hull on points. I think Coventry can only overtake us on goal difference. So if we win... It I don't think the goal difference is that big. I think we're quite tight, so... It Essentially, if they win and we lose, I think that's enough for them to get us on goal difference anyway. Nice attempts there from Exeter, but Yates had it under control. No, I think the Exeter team... It's going to be quite hard to beat. Um, I know we beat them for the Papa John's trophy, but they probably didn't play their full main squad. I'd imagine they used that as a little bit of a a little bit of a go for their younger players or players that don't they don't play as often. We used it, you know, as our main. We, we won a trophy. That's what I wanted anyway. I wanted some money. I wanted the cash associated with it as well. Um, which was roughly 100k. Which immediately got overspent. Because we played, we paid 140k in um, bonuses, I think. So yeah, so that didn't help us at all. But at least we got the bonus paid. I, su I suppose. So we're still drawn. Luckily, Hull is losing at the moment, so that's helping us out. Um, okay. That's the last sub. Let's just see what happens then. So yeah, last I checked on the dugout, MK Dons were winning. Coventry is now winning as well, and that could be a problem if Exeter scores. Come on, tackle. Ugh, nicely saved that Logan. Well done. What's Shepard doing there? <laughs> he was like on the fence. Oh wait, he's the defender, sorry. I keep I keep mistaking him with 
Roy Shepard, the attacker, but Roy she Shepard is no longer in the senior squad anyway, so it's a different kind of Shepard. Shepard with an E as well. Right, I don't actually know what happened in terms of the table. So I think Coventry... Ah, Coventry won, but because we drew, we still have a point advantage over them. Hull lost, so they didn't get any more points, which means the draw is enough to get us through to the playoffs. So that's what's going to happen next. We're going to draw some playoffs. Let's see if the draw comes in. Uh, I'm hoping the draw will come in anytime soon. Mike is injured. Uh, that's okay, we've got Simon. We're going to play Exeter again. So was Exeter already? So Exeter must have been in the top six. I didn't, re I didn't realize that before. Tom Yates, player of the week. Criticize Mark. Uh, sorry, Clark. Right, so let's have a look at the. Oh, yeah, third. Okay, so we're going to play Exeter, who are, as we've seen, quite hard to beat. So I might have to go. Um... Oh, it's a two leg thing as well. I didn't realize that. So you're going to play two legs, semi final, two legs, and then. So it's three matches. So it's semi-final two legs, and I'm supposed I'm assuming the final is just one match. So which will play either Luton or Peterborough if we get through Exeter. So yeah, so it's two matches against Exeter. I might have to go. Yeah, I think I'll stay positive. Or maybe balance. I don't know. I might have to play around with tactics and stuff. Uh, let's see how soon Mike Dodds is going to come back. Oh, he's nearly back. He's only got four days left. So he might be there, not for the first leg, but for the second leg, which we're playing at home anyway. No, we're playing away. Okay, so playing the first one at home and then the second one away. Right. Okay. So Dodds is still out of action for that one. But he's back for that one, hopefully. It's televised, we get some money, which is nice. Okay, yeah, so I'll come back in the next episode for the playoffs. It it will be at least two playoff matches, because we're playing two matches against Exeter. It might be a third match uh, if we then get through to the final. And as I, as I always do for playoffs, I will only show you the matches, not the in-between bits, so that the uh, episode gets a little bit shorter. So that's all I'm going to show you for this episode. I just wanted to show you if we get to the playoffs or not. And we have uh, with a draw, which is quite, quite good. But I'll leave it there now. Um, please leave a like if you've enjoyed this episode. And also subscribe if you've been enjoying the series and you want to know when the next episodes are coming out. You'll get notified. Uh, you can also check out the Patreon. The link is in the description. And you can join our one Patreon at the moment, which is Johan Michaels. Uh, thank you, Johan. Um, so yeah, so go check out the Patreon. Um, you can also find the links for the music that I'm using for this video in the description. And you can also find my shares affiliate link um, if you're interested in buying shares. And you get a free share. So I think that's it. Um, take care and see you next one. Bye-bye.